fabulous. Of course, at the moment, we're still all in Pinewood. I mean, that um, establishing shot of the Grand Hotel in Sweden, although, you know, we're, we're supposed to be in Sweden at the moment. Mm. Um, they did send a unit over there to film um, some stuff in Sweden. And um, it was more kind of just like, uh, you know, the usual sort of like get the hotel entrance and all that. Um, so uh, Danny and Brett or Roger and Tony didn't actually step foot in Sweden during mm. the production of this episode. But uh, it always makes me laugh with that bit with in Blu-ray where you can clearly see it's two doubles arriving in that taxi. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Catherine Shell would have probably worked on this uh only out of the 10 days filming she'd have probably only been in the studio sort of three or four days maximum mm. um but if you ever get a chance to go to a pinewood open day occasionally they do do them still i think mm. it's so worth going uh, you named your, your magazine uh, the morning after yeah i did this yeah. episode was it just because it was catchy title or does this episode particularly fun um no well I, I mean like i always you know i've always liked this episode um mm. of course with the morning after it became i sort of shortened it to tma and it, everyone kind of called it tma as well mm. so um it just kind of just worked um mm. and uh yeah you know it's just one of those great episodes really i think that often gets overlooked yeah, yeah, I think this one would probably have to be in, in the top ten. I think of of the episodes. I think certainly. Ah, good morning, uh, Brett. But uh, do you know where the uh, the mail in the room? All gone, gone, sir. Gone. Checked gone. out. Checked out. Do you know where they checked uh, out? Water took baggage to air. Airport. How? What time? Ten, fifteen minutes. Thank you very much, madam. Hello. No, his lordship ain't here. The, see that little sequence there where you've just seen Tony sort of dance around the cleaner, you mm. know, and and then pick up the phone at the same time just shows how sort of kind of quick and nimble and versatile he was as an actor. Like, Tony can act and hold props and sort of dance around and do all that. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about this before, like where he's climbing, climbing up drain pipes or he's vaulting um, gates and things like that. He really was um, a very, very... Um, agile um kind of actor you know uh yeah. things that are in the way didn't cause him a problem he kind of worked out a way around it you know yeah. which is um great that i love the way they cut <laughs> cut that in this we really did go to stockholm there for the film yeah <laughs> i mean i'm laughing at it i'm laughing because i love it do you know what i mean i'm not i'm not being horrible about it mm. you know um and as we were talking about blu-ray really does shut the sort of yeah, it does, doesn't it? The back projection there. But you can clearly see they've gone to film out the proper window, you know, filmed out the proper window and stuff. Sell me some information. I'm going to see him tonight. That's good. Attention, please. Last call for passengers to London. You went on to work in England at that stage yeah. after Skippy, and you ran into some incredible people. You worked with Tony Curtis I and did. Charles Bronson. I did, and and the great Roger Moore, God rest his soul. Yeah, that was on the Persuaders. On the you Persuaders, actually, yeah. yeah. And but I'd worked in Turkey on a big film for Columbia with Tony Curtis before that, and it now was great. Was, you can't, you can't win that? them all. Yes, oh, right, yes. Um, uh, we had the Turkish cavalry as extras, which was outstanding to see them riding. Uh, we were all, all on horse back. Um, I mean, those days have disappeared when you think about it now, sta saying that that was astounding because what actor is going to experience that again on a set with yeah. everything being CG'd? You bet. Yeah. And how was an Australian actor like yourself accepted by people like Tony Curtis and Charles Bronson? Great. Great. The second I met Tony Curtis sitting on the back stairs of the Hilton Hotel in Istanbul, smoking a joint... <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I was walking down from my room, down the back stairs, because I didn't want to be seen catching the lift down and walking through the lobby to go to the bar. Right. Uh, you know, I had a slight drinking problem back, back in those days. And when I was going down the fire stairs, I could smell the weed. <laughs> and I got down to one or two floors. There's there TC just having a little, little <laughs> joint on the back. And I sat down next to him and he said, hey, you want to? I said, you bet. Yeah. <laughs> Tony and I, we kind of were friends from that second on. Uh, it was great fun on the picture. 
uh, because we travelled throughout Turkey uh, uh, shooting. So that was a wonderful film to be on. You know, men with our experience have a lot to offer. We have a special talent, you and me. We're a team. There's nothing we can't do. Do me a favour. Will you shut up and peel? Thank you.